what's up guys and welcome back or if you're new here welcome so today i started off with an early yoga class and went to my favorite cafe afterwards to have a long black and to read my book to me this is such a nice way to start off my day on a good note on to breakfast i made a smoothie bowl using one banana a handful of mixed leafy greens some frozen celery two mandrel dates a handful of frozen blueberries, a squeeze of lemon, some hemp seeds, unsweetened soy milk, and a teaspoon of ashwagandha powder. I honestly don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I've been using it for about two months now and I swear on that herb. It's commonly used in Ayurveda, which is a form of alternative medicine based on Indian principles of natural healing. And ashwagandha is proven to boost brain function, support energy levels and help manage stress and even anxiety and depression. The last thing I added to my smoothie was a teaspoon of spirulina. After I finished my smoothie, I took my daily B-complex vitamin with a glass of water. A little later on, I had one of these Go Macro bars in the flavor peanut butter chocolate chip. For my lunch, I first off cut some butter and pumpkin into bite-sized pieces. Next I added the pumpkin to a small bowl along with some olive oil, a teaspoon of tandoori, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper as well as salt and pepper to taste. Then I also sliced a sweet potato which is part of my dinner. Next off, I place everything on a lined baking sheet, making sure it's spread out to bake nicely. Then that went into the preheated oven for about 40 minutes. In the meanwhile, I sliced a big handful of radish. After 30 minutes of baking, I also placed one of these vegan burger patties in the oven to roast throughout the remaining 10 minutes. Now it's finally time to plate everything up. So I used a big handful of mixed leafy greens, then I added the radish slices, the roasted pumpkin, the burger, some of this turmeric mayo and lastly a sprinkle of hemp seeds. I placed one of these plant-based beetroot burger patties on a lined baking sheet alongside some long stem broccoli. To that I added some olive oil and salt to taste. This went in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and in the meanwhile I chopped my veggies being tomato, some red onion, Gherkins. Once all my ingredients were ready, I combined them to a burger using the sweet potato slices I prepped earlier as burger buns. This 
dinner was so freaking good you guys editing this makes me want to make another one right now